You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. A rehab facility in White Plains is turning stroke survivors into video gamers. All right, it's an innovative therapy to help patients relearn lost motor skills. Fox 5's Antoine Lewis shows us how it works. 63-year-old Fred Watson is trying to get this plane inside this circle in this virtual reality game. He's not going for a pilot's license. He simply wants full use of his right hand. And it was locked. My hand was locked. So when I started using the airplane flying, I slowly but surely opened the hand up. The plane is part of a rehab approach at Burke Medical Research Institute in White Plains. Called Gesture Therapy, or Gest Therapy for short, it uses video game software to aid in the recovery from a stroke. The infrared light bounces off his hand, hits some infrared sensors, and they detect the fact that there is something that looks like the shape of a human hand hovering over the device. And what they do is they draw out a shape of Fred's hand as he's hovering over the device. And this allows us to track in 3D space exactly what Fred is doing with his hand at any one time. The use of video and virtual reality software as therapy continues to gain momentum in the medical community. Recovering stroke survivors are turning into full-fledged gamers. This crab game helps stimulate brain-to-limb communication and mobility. Petrino says older methods of stroke therapy involved a lot of watching and waiting. Just therapy brings a more modern and fun approach to getting well. So when we looked at people who didn't enjoy the therapy as much, didn't like the game, or were having trouble with the technology, they didn't have as good an outcome as people like Fred who were having a blast the whole time and wanted to keep playing. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Video games are being developed to address other areas impacted by a stroke besides mobility. As for Fred Watson, he's working hard to trade in his flight wings for an ink pen and relearn the one skill he misses the most. I want to just sign my name again. And if I get to that point, I know I've got come a long way. From White Plains, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.